Hey everybody, it's Melanie O'Kane with Yarn Mosaics. Wanted to shoot a quick video for you today uh, to show you uh, where you place the X's, the O's, the uh, W's, and the G's in here. It seems to be a sticking point for some, and I can see why. It, it can get confusing if you've never, especially if you've never designed uh, uh, an overlay mosaic crochet pattern before. So the main thing to look at when you're doing this is the column over here which serves as a guide for you. This guide tells you that this row is a secondary color row. Okay, secondary color, secondary color. This guide tells you as well that this is a primary color row. Okay, primary color in this case is uh, green. Now that's just what I call it. P other people might call it something else. That's just how I worded it. And you'll see that over here it shows you that every other row is a primary color row or secondary color row. The secondary color row only recognizes O's, capital O's or lowercase O's, it doesn't matter, or W's, again, uppercase W or lowercase, it doesn't matter. If you try to put a G or an X in a secondary color row, it's not going to know what you're telling it to do. If you do that, just delete it. Or you can do a control Z. That is the keyboard shortcut for undo. Or you can go up here and select undo. In fact, that might be a better way instead of just deleting. You may just want to do an undo because that will put the, the little hash mark guys back in there. And they kind of need to be in there until you're completely finished. Same thing here. If you're in a primary color row and you try to put uh, a W, let's say, in here, it's going to say, what are you doing? I do not know what that W is. Please get it out of there. So control Z and it's gone. The secondary color rows will take an O or a W as I said before. The O's for the secondary color rows are for the drop down double crochets and that's where it will drop down over the primary color row indicating in your pattern that that's where you do a drop down double crochet in the secondary color whatever color it is that you're using for that secondary color okay it doesn't have to be off white again an O drop down double crochet if you're okay let's go down here if you're working in a secondary color row again you can either choose to do an O there's your drop down or if you don't want an O like right here if you did an O you're gonna cover up part of your your pattern you don't want to do that so you would put a W here the W will go away and you'll be left with a secondary color here in your pattern the O's, or excuse me, the G's and the W's disappear when you uh, put them in there. And that's because we don't want the chart filled with X's and O's and G's and W's because then when you're actually trying to work from the chart, it will get, your eyes will start to cross. It will get really confusing. It'll be a hot mess. You don't want that. You just, and really a lot of the graphs only use X's. Okay, but here we're using X's and O's that will show in your pattern when it's finished.
Same thing with the primary color. If you are working in a primary color row, and let's see if we can find a spot. Uh, well, let's pretend like we don't want a drop down double crochet here. Actually, we would, but let's pretend we don't. Okay, we're in a primary color row and we just want a color there. We just want a single crochet there. In this case, the single crochet SC for the primary color is a G. So we're going to put a G there. Boom, there's the green. Okay, Control Z will take it out of there. If you make a mistake, again, you're working in a primary color row and you say, oh, I don't want a drop down double crochet. I just want a single crochet there. And you look at your chart and you're, you're moving along really fast and you put a W there. Oh, it's not, it's not recognize it. In fact, see how the W stays there. That's because it doesn't recognize a W. You're working in a primary color row. So control Z, you just hold down your control button and hit the letter Z. Control Z is the shortcut, the keyboard shortcut for undo. And I like to use keyboard shortcuts whenever possible. Um, I, you know, I can't think of anything else that might be confusing. The main thing to remember is if you do something and you, and you realize you've made a mistake, you can always undo it. Don't panic. My husband is like that. Uh, he'll, you know, uh, especially if I'm trying to teach him computer stuff, he is not a computer guy and he'll do something. Go, oh my gosh. I just, you know. I just put this O oh, in a primary color row. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Well, don't worry because until you save this, it's fixable. So control Z will take that mistake out of there. And in fact, if you keep hitting control Z, if you're watching, you see, you keep hitting control Z and it's, it will just undo everything. And until you save this, you can do that. Once you save this, uh, control Z may or may not work. Undo may or may not work. But again, don't panic. If you realize, oh, I've saved this. I've written over this, you know, blank canvas that I need to use again for another pattern. Now what? Don't worry. If you are a uh, part of our private Facebook group, this Excel package that we're looking at right now, okay, with the information center, staging area, the pattern maker, and the written pattern area, this is in the files section of our private Facebook group. If you need to start from, you know, from scratch, get a fresh start, because even though you've tried to make some corrections, it's still confusing you and it's just, it's, you know, scrambling your eggs. Don't worry, just go ahead and pull uh, a copy of the, uh, Excel package out of the files section in our Facebook group and you can save it to your computer and it's going to say something like, oh, this file already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? If you overwrite it, everything, you know, that you have done is going to be gone. If you've made a lot of mistakes, that's that's probably what you want to have happen. Just make sure that before you do that, you realize that when you overwrite, everything that you have in here is going to be gone and you're going to have a blank canvas to work from. 
excuse me, I am not used to talking this much. Let me get a drink of coffee quick. Um, so yeah, I think that should do it. Uh, just remember that the main thing is to know what row you're working in. That will determine whether you're wanting to work with O's and W's or X's and G's. If you do something that you did not want to do, control Z, or again, if you uh, come up here, right here is your undo. Okay, uh, it should be visible. This is usually visible uh, standard on the, uh, the ribbon up here. And I think you can also, let's see, right click. <laughs> well, I don't see an undo. But in either case, control Z. If you remember control Z, you'll be you'll be golden. Uh, nothing is uh, life threatening until you save. And I always recommend that if you're going to do that, if you're going to save this whole thing, it should be saved as a blank canvas. If you want to save, you know, let's say you've got your masterpiece in here and you want to save it as something because you want to um, either use it or sell the pattern, I recommend copying your masterpiece, however big it is, and pasting it into a blank uh, uh, worksheet. Just um, to do that, you can do go up here and go File, and again, my computer, my poor computer has just been worked to death. File. And then new. And blank workbook. Okay, once you click that, it's going to open up a whole new, uh, a whole new workbook for you. And then you can paste your masterpiece in that and then save it with whatever name you want to save it with. And that actually makes me think of one other thing really quick I want to show you. So if you, um, let's see, if you are working in here and you get to, let's say, you get to this this point and, you, and it's all blank over here, that's because there's nothing here. Your pattern only goes this wide. So you only want to work with the area that has something in it, okay? If it's blank, then it's it's no man's land and you don't want to go over here. You want to stay where you see something, okay? And that's why I intentionally made it instead of it originally being um, white to start until you start adding your your letters in here. It's like a pinkish color and that's just to help you see that that's part of the pattern, and this is not. And you can see that that difference pretty clearly here. Okay, so that's it. I uh, hope this helps. If it doesn't help and you're, <laughs> I've made you even more confused, you can always get a hold of me through Etsy messaging. Uh, our Facebook group, if you're not a member yet, you need to get over there and get uh, get in there because a lot of good information is going to be shared there. And you can always email me through my website, yarnmosaics.com, on the contact page. So I hope that helps. And I will be posting more videos, breaking things down for people as questions come up. And I hope this helps. Hope you guys are having a great day. And happy creating.